So you know whenever you are scrolling social media and you see all of these like amazing recipes that go viral and you're like, I gotta make that? That is what we're doing today. I've got three recipes that went viral and they looked amazing so I saved them so that I could make them for later. And this first one is going to be a like summer salad. My Bunky is going to love it. I basically saved it for him because this is like right up his alley. It's gonna be good with lunches this week. I think the uh, perfect accompaniment to sandwiches. Definitely. Yeah. So this is hilarious. I have had this thing for years. Y'all, it has been through so many moves with us and I have never used it not one time, but today I'm breaking it out <laughs> because this summer salad has so many vegetables to chop. I was like, how can I make this easier on myself? So I'm pulling out the veggie chopper. Now it has different attachments. And I asked Bunky which one he wanted and he is going with this smaller attachment. It also comes with this one, but he says he wants his teeny tiny. So we're gonna at least try and start this. Now this recipe that I'm going off of, the girl said that this was for her like hot girl summer body. <laughs> so you're gonna get your like summer body on with this? Dad bod. No. Dad bod for sure. Um, so to chop, or what we have to chop up is like a red onion, these like mini cucumbers, and then three bell peppers. And of course you wanna get like the different color one so that it's a really pretty summer salad. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all of these in our chopper. And I am so excited to use this, you don't even know. like. Why have I waited so long? I don't know. You know what I think is great about that? It's going to catch it all it, down there. It, it catches everything in the little box underneath, and then you're just dumping it into the bowl. So. This is like, what have we been doing? <laughs> and also, you get completely like uniform sizing. So and if y'all know Bunky, you know he is happy about that. Mm -hmm. This consistency is key. Yes. Uh-uh. Okay, not only was that satisfying, Oh my goodness. But do you see how perfect those things are? Wow, I'm so impressed. With this you. is unreal, y'all. It's unreal. Why haven't we been doing all the hard work all these years? I don't know. Wow. No way. I'm blown away. Bunky, what have we what have we been doing? This is not serious. Y'all, that is insane. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna let you do the peppers and cucumbers because you're gonna get like such satisfaction out of this. I haven't gotten to do this in so long. What? Have pepper? Cut a bell pepper up because I love to pop wow, the you, top. You're so good. <laughs> and then I might have just ruined everything, but no. Yeah, I think so, it's perfect. So then you can roll it out. Wow. Well, yeah, I'm impressed with your skills. My preparation. Oh. Hey. I still got it. I don't know how you come up I with it on the spot. I still got it. Pepper placed. You gotta kinda use both hands. Wow. Just in case y'all probably have noticed here, I had a little bit of a We told him a couple of videos back, but in case you didn't see that video, Bunky yeah, smashed his finger I in caught, the car door. I caught my thumb in the car door, so um, I'm a little bit nervous about smashing things. <laughs> All of the peppers are in there. Now we're just gonna add in our little um, baby cucumbers. Man, those go in there like a charm. Is Jim, that, like I was saying. You know what I just thought of? What? So you know how when you make biscuits, you have to cube butter? Yeah. Freeze the butter, put it through this thing right here, and you have got yourself perfect little cubes of butter. For your biscuits. For your biscuit making fun. I hope we have some self-rising flour because I want you to make me some biscuits now. <laughs> I think we have pinto beans coming soon. Yes, we do. That sounds good, actually. I have a mm. um, I have a ham hock in the freezer. <laughs> yeah, we do. Yeah. <gasps> all the beautiful colors. Bunky, it is so pretty. They're all in this one little space, and they're all the exact same size. I mean, I know this is only going to get better, right? Uh huh. But I feel like I could just take a spoon and just eat that the way it is. Okay, so I think it was the Kelly Cat. We were talking about with the chips. 
Yeah, yeah. So the recipe that I saw this girl make this, mm -hmm. she was eating it with chips, and I think that that is like the way to go. You just wait, it's gonna get better. Now, this is literally how simple this is gonna be. We're gonna add in all of our chopped veggies to our bowl, and then we're gonna add in some sliced pepperoncinis, which is gonna give it that like zip and tang. Little, little vinegar action. Yes, and we're actually gonna add in just a little bit of the juice. You know what I like about what just happened here? What? I always forget that there's, like those are pre-sliced for you. Uh -huh. So you don't have to do that work, you know? So true. Just like a tablespoon or two tablespoons of this juice. That's probably good. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of stir those in. I feel like I'm losing weight just looking at this. <laughs> Oh my gosh, if only I liked onions so that I could eat this, you know? You know what else I just thought of? Like what? I say, you always say that I'm uh, making dad jokes. Uh-huh. But I think that I'm making rad jokes. Because oh they're gosh. so cool. They're so corny. Because they're so cool. They're, they're so corny. They're rad jokes. No. So next ingredient to go in here is feta cheese. I actually found this feta cheese at the grocery store, which has garlic and say fine herbs. Herb, yep. Yeah. I just tasted it. It is mm -hmm. so good, okay? <laughs> Give it just a little bit extra something in there. Now we're just gonna dump this entire container in here. The whole thing, huh? The whole thing. Then to season it, we're gonna add in a little bit of this smoked paprika. You know, measure with your heart. Yeah, that's right. Okay. To taste. And then you could do salt and pepper if you want salt and pepper, but you guys know me. Why not throw a little extra cheese element in there? Cracked pepper parmesan. I just feel like, I feel like it has like the good yeah. Flavor profile, I'll be like delicious with it. I this. used to question your use of that, and no more do I because. It, it should go on everything. It really should. It's so good, y'all. Take however much you want in there. Now, to top this all off dressing, you're gonna need like some sort of oil and vinegar dressing, or I guess you can kind of make your own. I mm. found this one that is a Ken's dressing, and we actually had this in the camper on our trip. Mm -hmm. And we were, we had these, um, it wasn't, it was mozzarella, but it's what, what was it called? It starts with a B but it wasn't burrata. Oh, I can't Jeez. think of it. Those little balls of like monster, but they weren't the small ones. They weren't like the burrata. I can't think of it. Anyway. Belgioso? Maybe that was what it was. That's, <laughs> That's the brand. The brand. <laughs> anyway, we had this mozzarella cheese and we would put this like little bit of oil and vinegar dressing, whatever, over top of it. It was amazing. That was my favorite little oh, treat yeah, yeah. every night. It's coming back to me. Okay, yeah. So anyway, we're gonna use this dressing to bring it all together. Funky. Mm -hmm. This is beautiful. I know. It's like I'm, it just looks like summertime. I know. I'm gonna be looking as good as this uh, hot girl summer. Yeah, I'm gonna be looking as good as this bell pepper medley here <laughs> by the time I'm done eating it. Now you can pop a lid on this and put it in the fridge for a couple of hours. I'm sure these flavors can like marry together and get even better. But Bunky and I were just saying that this is almost like one of those salads that it's good as is. Like it's already gonna pack a punch and have like so much flavor to it. So because mm -hmm, it's fresh and bright, you know. Yeah. So even like next day, sure it might be a little bit better, but even like as is it's gonna be delicious. Immediate satisfaction. You ready to taste test? Yeah. Let's do it. The much anticipated sampling for the <laughs> for the rad dad summer. Oh my gosh, I cannot with you. <laughs> <laughs> Bunny's gonna go no chip and then chip. It has a good crunch to it. Mm-hmm. Well that's delicious. <laughs> The bell peppers, you know, you're getting a nice little crunch from. The cucumber's a little bit, kind of like a sweet element. The onion is crucial as well. Uh-huh. But the real surprise element in all of this, and it's not overpowering, is that feta. Oh yeah. And then the dressing though. Because the feta gives the, it a little bit of creaminess. Mm-hmm. What was it, olive oil and vinegar? Uh, yeah, olive oil and vinegar. That is the one to go with. That dressing like, is so delicious. Like, don't just use Italian dressing. You need to you need to probably get the one that has because I feel like that kind of it just brings a little bit extra to the party. It you know? does, yeah. I'm trying to think of additional ways that this could be used because it almost seems like it would be good even like a topping on certain things. See, you know what I think? I think if you just have a bed of lettuce, you add it on top, you have like a delicious salad. You know what this would be good on? A wrap, a sandwich. What? No, Italian sausages. Ooh, yep. yes. Yes, it Like would. in a hoagie? Yeah. Like Genius. for real, this would be really good. It's like you're kind of relish topping yeah. in that. Okay, we'll get a chip. I'm gonna get a chip. 
Probably the chip's the way to go because it gives you a little like salty crunch. We're going chip style. Hmm. Tell me the chip is not the way to go. Well, no complaints there either. <laughs> That is good too. Okay, so this recipe, 10 out of 10. No wonder it's viral. I can see why it overtook the interwebs. Okay, we're going to make this one again. For sure. This next recipe stopped me in my tracks. When I tell y'all I saw this thing and I went back and rewatched it like 10 times and I hit save so fast, you have no idea. I was like, I don't think I've ever seen a recipe that I wanted to make so bad in my entire life. So Bonnie and I are gonna have the best breakfast ever because we're making French toast, but it's not really French toast, okay? King Hawaiian Rolls French toast. There's nothing greater than this. Fluffy, a little bit sweet, my favorite rolls. Mm. And then that like eggy custard cinnamon, powdered sugar, syrup. syrup. There is gonna be like nothing better and so, so easy. Okay, so we're gonna start making our French toast like custard. And so I'm gonna do two eggs in here. And then about half a cup of half and half, or if you have milk, you can do that too. And I'm just eyeballing this, of course. And then about a tablespoon of vanilla extract. And I kind of like mine vanilla -y. Oh, go, go So a little bit more is fine. <laughs> and then however much cinnamon you like. So I'll sprinkle that in, and then we're just gonna whisk this together. I'm gonna go ahead and get my pan on like a medium low to like medium heat and then i'm gonna add a good amount of butter to our pan while our butter is melting i'm gonna go ahead and get our king's hawaiian rolls in here and kind of get them soaking and just kind of turn them on all sides so we get this like eggy mixture really nice and coated on these i feel like you kind of want to leave them on the like ready the, side the ready side so it can absorb a little bit in there yeah i think so so now we're just going to get our rolls in here in our melted butter and we're going to like cook them on all four sides wait there's more than four sides <laughs> all six sides. <laughs> six sides basic math over here you get a sizzle i do i've like never met french toast that i didn't like it's actually one of my favorite breakfast foods. I know, but I feel like this is just gonna be like even next level. Okay, do y'all see the crust these are getting when I flip them? Look at that. Oh my word. <laughs> it's giving me cinnamon roll vibes, but not. Okay, you know what's funny? I saw another viral recipe today, and it was King Hawaiian rolls. They cut them in half, and they made like cinnamon roll mixture. Oh yeah. And put it in the middle, put the toss back on, Put the other cinnamon mixture on top, bake them, and then they make like the cream cheese frosting on top. Yeah. Bonky, we gotta try those too. This today. cinnamon and butter cooking smells so good. Oh my word. This is actually hilarious. <laughs> You've got jokes. Come on now. <laughs> no. I got a knife, I just need a fork. Bunk, I got the fork. Bunny just sat there. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, uh. Mm. Bunny sat there like he was gonna get first taste test this time. No, oh, sorry. Oh, my God, it smells so good. <laughs> I am getting first taste test. The smell's the coming smell, out of this. The smell, it's like so just tender. Can bread be tender? I think soft, soft maybe. Oh, my, Bunny. Is this on the the new breakfast rotation? Next level. Really? Yo, you have never. You you cannot. I can't even tell you. I can't even tell you because I can't stop, okay? Like, you know how good King Hawaiian rolls are? Mm-hmm. But then it's just like, the outside has this little bit of crisp. It's amazing. It is amazing. Like, no wonder 1.2 million people liked this recipe <laughs> online. I'm gonna let you Legitimately try viral. Legitimately. You know how some of the pieces got a little bit more done than others? Mm -hmm. I feel like you're gonna love those pieces. <laughs> I think the only problem that we're gonna have here is that there's not enough of these. We can make some more. I thought six would be like plenty. <laughs> I don't think that it is. What in the world? Right? A whole nother show. That's me. I'm like, I'm speechless for words. I don't even know what to tell y'all other than like, you have to make this. The exterior 
The exterior. The exterior. Look at me coming through with your dad wow, jokes. Wow, you saved me there. This is so good too because it's like warmed throughout, you know? Yeah, the whole inside is warm. It's like pillowy soft on the yeah. inside. Holy. And it just got like a little bit of texture on the outside. That's like mind boggling. <laughs> In a good way. Yeah. Like if you guys don't have plans for your like weekend breakfast mm. this weekend. I put this on there. Me too. It is amazing. How long we let these sit in there for? Like maybe two minutes? Yeah, two or three minutes. It was so quick and easy. I'm speechless. Same. Like I'm actually speechless. Same. Because that is so good. Now not that we can even think about what we're having for dinner tonight, but I do need to go ahead and get it kind of prepped because we will need to put it in the refrigerator for like a couple of hours. So I'm gonna go ahead and get our like marinade so we can get this steak in there. We're gonna make steak fingers and you guys know how much I love chicken fingers. That's my number one favorite food in the entire world. So we're gonna see how steak fingers hold up to chicken fingers. Mm -hmm. But based it's off- a good experiment. Yeah. And based off the recipe and like the reel that I watched, I feel like they're gonna be superb <laughs> because I also love steak and we're gonna eat it with like a buttermilk ranch. Ooh, y'all, so good. So anyways, I went to the grocery store. I got a boneless top sirloin steak and Bunky is just gonna take this and cut it into like little strips to obviously make like strip the, fingers, the, finger. the fingers. So I'm gonna go ahead and get him to go ahead and cut that and then we'll get our marinade made and get this in there. Looking good, looking good. Yeah. You don't want them to be too thick. You kind of want them to be like, what, quarter to half inch? Yeah, because they have to uh, like cook quickly enough before your breading would burn, you know? Right. Well, that's why we're going to put them in the freezer for a little bit too. Ah, yeah. So that they can cook for a little bit longer. I think you know what a good looking steak that is. Like Publix. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start on our marinade. I just added one egg and then I'm going to pour in some buttermilk. I like the buttermilk is what, you know. Tenderizes. Tenderizes, gives it that good flavor. This mm. stuff is thick. It's thick. <laughs> I actually made some buttermilk ranch with it yesterday that we're gonna dip these in, and that is some of the best ranch ever, okay? You wanna hear a story? Sure, tell us. So, my mom that y'all saw recently. Yeah. <laughs> she used to like drink buttermilk uh -uh. straight. Mama does the same thing. Mama will drink buttermilk. Yeah. Mm. No, thank you. And I remember when I was little, I would always want to try it, but then I would, you know. Chicken out? No, I would taste it. Oh, you did? Like, mm -mm. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay, if y'all drink buttermilk by itself, yeah, let us know. Tell us in the comments. So now you're just going to add in like your favorite steak seasoning. So, of course, I'm going to add in some of the blend in here. And then y'all know we love this red garlic as well. And I'm only going to put a teeny tiny bit of this just to give it the smallest little bit of heat in there. Mm -hmm. It's always a surprise seeing what, uh, what I'm gonna pick. <laughs> yeah, surprise cracked pepper parmesan's not going in there. I was going to, but I was like, you know, I think a little bit of heat will be nice. We'll, we'll mix the cheese on this one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I feel like that's good. And then lastly, we're just gonna add some flour in here, which is what's gonna give us that like amazing crust and crunch mm. on our fingers. How much flour are we going in with? Well, the recipe says half a cup, but I also didn't use the exact measurements of buttermilk, so, yeah. you know, I'm just eyeballing it. What do you think, a little more? That's, no, I'd say you, you got pretty, pretty close. You know, well, I she used half a cup. You know, I don't know how to use measuring cups or anything, <laughs> but that was that looks pretty close to half a cup to me. That actually just kind of looks like gravy. Yeah, it does. That's what I was thinking That's whenever you showed this to me. Uh-huh. This is like... It looks like steak and gravy. It's like uh, Salisbury steak. Yes. Or country fried steak. But, That's exactly. But on an individual and fun basis. Yes, agreed. I always add our steak right into this marinade and Bunky insists on using his hands. We're gonna drop it in and smoosh it around. Smoosh it around. And then after we get this like super coated, we're gonna pop a lid on this dish and put it in the fridge for a couple hours. See, you, this is like required, hand required in there. Okay. Cause I'll you gotta it. get all these little separations, make sure everybody's got a little love on it. <laughs> so you know how when we were making the Rad Dad summer salad? <laughs> Yes, day. yes. And I had the uh, genius idea of, you know, freezing your butter for a little bit and then chopping it with that device. Yeah. 
Well, as we sit here and we're preparing these steak fingers, uh -huh. I just happened to put two and two together and noticed that our ingredients already on the counter here, butter, milk, Ooh. biscuits. Oh, you know what? Sounds I think like you I, have to make me some biscuits. Sounds like I might be making buttermilk biscuits. Y'all know Bumpy is our <laughs> biscuit maker because he makes some good biscuits. I think it's how much butter you put in them. <laughs> it took me like five minutes to figure out what Bumpy was saying. He goes, woo! Yep. I was like, I don't get it, B. And he's like, the Pillsbury Doughboy. I was like, oh! He's like the biscuit man. Now I understand. Yeah. <laughs> I had a total blind you know, moment. Gr Grands Junior, all yeah. those good stuffs. Yeah. Okay, Bunky, I got you. Yeah. Okay, so our steak has been marinating all day. I feel like I'm just now actually getting hungry enough to like want to have this for dinner. Actually, I've been thinking about it all day long, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm just not hungry enough that I can eat it. Anyway, I am going to make us our batter and it's really simple. It's just gonna be flour with salt, pepper, and garlic. So I'm just gonna obviously use the blend and then we're gonna get our steak fries, steak fingers, mm -hmm. <laughs> steak fingers. Um, in here, shake off any excess and then lay them on this tray and they're gonna go in the freezer for about an hour, then we're gonna fry them. So a little bit of prep work, but I feel like well worth it, you know? They are already looking so good. And by the way, I did use some parchment paper since we are gonna put these in the freezer just to make sure, you know, like nothing sticks, everything's good. So we're gonna pop these in the freezer one hour, then it'll be time to cook. Oh boy. I can't wait. Yes. It is time. I know. How would you know I was literally gonna say <laughs> no, that? No, you are not. These things have set up very nicely. We're looking good. We got our oil going. Let's, uh, let's test do, it out let's for do us. the old test here. We're not quite there Not yet. quite there. Okay, I think it is time. Very gently drop these in. We're just gonna fry them until they are like golden brown and they should be cooked perfect on the inside. Isn't it always just like so awesome seeing something dropped in oil? Yes. I feel like no one could be more excited for that than I am. Like steak fingers. I know. Wow. Since these just came out and they're still like nice and hot and I have some flaky sea salt, I'm gonna put just a pinch of like, you guys know. You gotta salt it when it's warm. Yeah, the flaky sea salt just right on top. Just building the flavor layers. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, round two. <laughs> I think we have like two or three more batches over there. You know that we're happy when we're always like making that sound. Yeah, when we're singing, we're happy bunkies. <laughs> also, you know, we never make like cube steak, although I feel like my mom made it a lot growing up. Did your mom? I did, we had it. We always had not, it. Not like too, too often, but we had it way more regularly than we ever Me and you do? Yeah. We never make we, it. We never make it, so it's actually one of those things that I get at Cracker Barrel. Yeah, that's occasion, true. You know? But this like kind of reminds me of it a little bit, so I'm just like, so excited to have something different. You know where I got some too? Where? Remember when we went to, um, was it the old mill when we were in Pigeon Forge? Yes, like, that is uh, Like the last year or something? Yeah, that was yeah. really good there too. Mm -hmm. not having it with me because I was like I'm tasting this first too I can't help it if it's like my favorite things you know I have to go first mm. I always let you have your favorite things and I try and cook recipes that you love but when it comes to me this is this one I can give to you okay y'all it just got like the perfect batter like when I go to a restaurant and I want to like get chicken tenders this is the kind of like batter I am looking for that's my favorite okay I'm gonna dip it in my Buttermilk ranch. Did I hear some crunch? I'm hearing some crunch. Oh my God, I might cry. The batter has so much flavor. There's like such a crunch and a crust of the outside. The steak is so tender. It is so tender. There is so much flavor. I never knew that dipping steak in ranch could be so good, okay? You didn't know. But it's like a whole nother level. I'm gonna be really honest with y'all. I would take these 
over any chicken tenders all day long. There's no way. Yes, I promise well, you. Well, I'm about to fall on the floor whenever I bite <laughs> one of these because it's going to be that good. Chicken tenders are my favorite food in the whole world, and I'm telling you right now, I would take this over chicken tenders every day, all day. You're going to lose your mind. You got to do the ranch. You stop it. Tell me I'm wrong. You're not. You're right. I see what all the fuss is about. The batter has so much flavor, doesn't it? Oh my goodness, yeah. But I think what really makes the difference here is that refrigeration step. I think so too, because it really tenderizes the meat. Oh my goodness. And you know, this isn't even like a super expensive uh, cut of meat, you know? No, if you go to a restaurant, shoot, my chicken tenders are $16. <laughs> we just where? got like 25 chicken tenders. Where are you eating, girl? <laughs> Would you do chicken fingers or those? I'd rather have this. For Me sure, too. For sure. It seems like it's a lot of work, but it's really not. It's not. It does take a while as far as, you know, you, you prep it, you gotta let it sit in the fridge for a little while. But by the time you pick the kids up from school, do this. <laughs> Y'all, there is not a lot of things that I would choose to eat over this. I am not kidding when I tell you, it is one of my very favorite things we have ever made. One of my very favorite things I have ever eaten. Like, this is one on the rotation once a month, I have to have this. First of all, it wasn't difficult. We made it in our own home so we could control the ingredients, the salt, the oil it was fried in, all yeah. the things, right? The steak is so tender, I can't even explain it. Like, I love this so much. There is a reason that all of these recipes are viral and it's because they are so good. So I cannot wait for y'all to try them. Highly I, recommend. Highly recommend. I hope you do and tell us what you think. You are going to love them and so is your family. As always, I would love for you guys to stick around and subscribe if you're new. Give this one a thumbs up. I love you so very much and I will see you in the next one. Bye y'all.